In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how Vienna Ensemble Pro works in four minutes or less. Wish me luck. There are three components to vPro, and let's start by looking at the main one, which is what you see here when you launch vPro. And that would be this nondescript looking window, which is called the Vienna Ensemble Pro Server. Well, server schmerber, this to me is vPro, a program, an app, and right now it's an empty canvas just waiting to be filled up with sounds. But you don't add the sounds directly to this window. To add plugins, you first create a thing called an instance by clicking on the add button. And here we see a blank instance. An instance is a container and you load up the container with plugins and you load your sounds into those plugins. And as I described in the previous tutorial, you can add all kinds of instrument plugins, not just Vienna instruments. So here I'm going to add play, contact, and a Vienna instruments plugin. And now I'm going to load a flute sound into each one. And now I'm going to set each one to a different MIDI channel. And now we have a nice little multi timbral flute collection with flutes from different libraries, all contained in a single vPro instance. Now I'm going to add another instance, another container, which I can load up with its own unique collection of plugins, or if I wanted to, I could load it up with just one plugin hosting one sound. And that's what I'm going to do here. Yep, there's no reason why you can't have an instance with just one plugin. So right now, vPro is hosting two completely independent instances. One is a multi library, multi timbral collection of flutes. And the other instance is hosting a single library single timbral instance of contrabassoon. And now I'm going to connect to those sounds from my DAW. So the first step is nothing new. You'd create a new instrument channel, but instead of instantiating contact or play or whatever, you'd load it up with a special vPro plugin. Now the official name for this is the Vienna Ensemble Pro Server Interface plugin. And from that, you can probably understand why from now on, I'll be referring to it simply as the vPro plugin. And here's how it works. So, okay, you want to connect to the Contra Bassoon, click on connect, and that opens up a menu showing you all the unconnected instances, and then select the Contra Bassoon. Click connect, voila. Now that was easy because that instance contained just one sound, so connecting to that instance made it immediately playable. But how do we connect to the multi timbral flute collection and be able to play each sound on its own track on its own MIDI channel? Well, it's no different from setting up your tracks to play any multi timbral plugin. Now, every DAW has a different method for setting up multiple tracks on different MIDI channels to address a multi timbral plugin. But in Logic, I'm just going to create a new instrument track as usual. And I'm going to tell it I want it to have three parts, which will create three tracks on three different channels. And now I'm going to install the vPro plugin on the instrument channel. Click connect. Select the flute collection. Click connect again. And now on track one, I can play the east west flute. Track two is the MIDI channel two track. So on that, I can play the contact flute. And the third track is my channel three track on which I can play the Vienna flute. How am I doing on time? Just under four minutes? Yes! 